Hello guys, welcome back to the Jewels to Life. And today I'm gonna do a flip through on four books. And they are Everything You Need to Know to Ace Maths in One Big Fat Notebook, Science, American History, and English. And it says the Complete Middle School Study Guide. All right, so we're gonna start with English. And I love these, they look so beautiful when you put them on your bookshelf. Yes, people, I do love books and I love colors. To me, this is enticing for the kids. And actually my son, when I got him, my son wanted to read it. I guess he thought it was a story or something, I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna flip, do a flip through. Um, so guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, if you're an old friend, thanks for again for stopping by. Anyway, guys, please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. I do different videos. I do homeschool. I do cooking, um, health and beauty. I do everything. So I would love for you to stick around. And thanks again for all your support, guys. Here we go. Let's get into this video. Okay, here we go. First, we're going to start with English language arts. Okay, now this book, when I tell you it's very colorful, it is. All right, and it's basically telling you here, I'm just going to read through, I'm not going to read through everything, but highlight vocabulary words in yellow, color definitions. Color in definitions in green highlight. Use blue pen for important people. Place dates and terms. Doodle a pretty sweet Alice and whatnot is whatnot to visually show the big ideas. So this is the guide of how to use the book. All right. So we have the table of contents. Unit one, we have grammar. Unit two, language. Unit three, reading fiction. Unit four, reading nonfiction. And then we go into the chapter. And guys, I'm just showing you guys this because when I bought this book, I had no clue what was in it. So just to give you an idea, so you'll know if you really wanna buy this book or not. All right, so it talks, this chapter is talking about phrases and clauses, preposition, types of phrases, known adverbs, Noun, adverbs, verbs, adjectives. So it's going through the parts of speech. And let's see, compound and complex sentences. So it covers that. And then it gives you examples. And then talks about conjunction. So this is, you know, by middle school, you should know this, but it's always good to get a little review. Um, so this is, you know, it's right at your fingertips. Okay, and here's an example again. And I'm telling you, I, I like, and then there, check your knowledge. So you could go through this. You could actually use this as a, a textbook in itself. I wouldn't particularly just use this. I would use this along with other things that, that is what I'm doing. So I'm using it along with Abeka, just to brush up on some stuff that he may have forgotten. And this is good throughout middle school. I think this is actually good through high school because I know a lot of people. Some, when I was in high school, I forgot some of the stuff and I would have to, you know, go back in and look it up and different things. But this is right here at your fingertip. They made this really easy to review. OK, and then you have subjective, objective and possessive pronouns. And it gives you what a pronoun is and then it gives you some some um examples all right let's flip through this let's get to the, and then here's another every chapter there's a check your knowledge and i like that and you have your answers so they don't just leave you hanging chapter three intensive pronouns see like this i don't even remember what this is about an intensive pronoun is a pronoun that emphasizes its antecedent See, I totally forgot about that one, but I've been out of school a long, long time. But here we go. And I know you could Google all of this, but to me, I like using 
the books. I love the library. I know everything is easier now, um, you know, on the computer, but I think having books is still a necessity. You know, I'm old school, I guess. All right, let's, let's hurry and flip through this. All right, example. Com and then they talk about common mistakes also. Check your knowledge again. Defining from context. You know, so they cover a broad variety of different topics. Nonfiction reading list. Truth is always strange. Stranger than fiction. Lord Byron Don Juan. So there you are. Narrator, author. It breaks down everything in here for you. I'm telling you, this is a good little book. Word relationships. All right, so that's it for English. Let's move to American history. All right, and it's the same concept. I'm just going to touch on a few. And these are brand new books, but they left it outside. And my dogs kind of got to the box. So see that there? But that's all right. None of the words were messed up. Anyway, so prehistory, early 1600, colonial America, 1607 to 1780, American Revolution, American Expansion, Civil War and Reconstruction. And that's it. And again, very colorful. These books are very colorful. And to me, it's enticing for the children. And this is the different societies from different environments. Okay. Now, this must be the different Indian tribes. Yep. Chippewa, Blackfoot, Florida, Seminole. They came, they saw, they conquered. All right. Very informative. Very good. I, I'm telling you, I really, I wish when I was going to school, we had a book like this. This would have made my life so much easier. Easy to study. Everything you really need to know. Not everything you really need to know, but great information are is just like located right here in this book. All right. War of 1812. The Second Great Awakening. Native Americans. American Reservations. All right, and then also they added a present day in here. They talked about the Gulf War, the election of 1992, achievement of presidency, Clinton's presidency. Let's see how far they go up to World Wide Web, 1989, uh, rise of terrorism, Bush versus Gore. All right, so let's see, 9-11. Just a little paragraph on 9-11, though. Uh, let's see. And that's about it. That's it for our history. Let's go to science. All right. Same concept. Let's see what science we're talking about in middle school science. Let's see. All right, scientific investigation, matter, chemicals, chemical reactions and solutions, motion forces and work, energy, outer space, the universe and solar system, the earth, weather, atmosphere, and climate. Then you have life classification, plants and animals, the human body system, history of heredit history of life, hereditary, heredity, evolution and fossils, and you have ecology, habitats, interdependence, and resources. I'm telling you, I just love these colors. I love the little pictures. To me, even though it's middle school, I even enjoy reading this, 
with the little pictures and diagrams and, you know, but most of all, the content. The content is awesome. Everything is in here. Stars and galaxies. All right. And then the last book, last but not least, is math. Now, this is going to be awesome because I'm telling you, there's so many things and formulas and stuff to remember from math. <sighs> All right, let's see. I'm trying to do this with one hand. All right. So, chapter one, the number system. Num chapter two, ratios, proportions, and percents. Unit three, expressions and equations. Um, geometry, statistics, and pro probability. The coordination plane and functions. And that's it. And then you go into, it talks about absolute value. You have some number lining, some word problems, decimals, rate and unit price, percentage. Well, no, this one isn't percentage. Measurements. Here's percent. So again, Pythagorean and theorem. We're not there yet, but it's good to know. I don't remember any of this stuff, seriously. Seriously. Oh, that gave me chills. And that's it. So, guys, thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed the flip through. It was a quick flip through, but I didn't want this to be a long video. I just wanted to give you an idea what's in these books. And I'm telling you, it was worth the money. Um, I, I will link how much they were. I can't remember, but they were not too expensive. I'm pretty sure they, they were under... Let me not quote. I have to go back in my Amazon cart. I've been just throwing stuff in my Amazon cart. So honestly, I cannot remember all the prices. But I will link it so you can find it. One of They didn't come together. Um, I don't know why. But like I got one. Then I got the other one. Then about a month later, I got the other one. And then I just got the last one um, this week. And I've ordered these probably a, a month ago. So they came in stages. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a blessed week and be safe, people. Um, and God bless, love each other, and cherish every moment you have with your family. And get ready for the 2021-2022 school year. It's going to be a blast. <laughs>